Dabble, 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 you sly dog, you've done it again. What's going on, people? Welcome back to Reject 3 for I got another banger video for you guys today, baby. Let's be special, baby. Let's be special. So right off the bat, Dabble Sweeney not only went into the state of Alabama, Nick Saban's backyard, and got not one, but two five stars right out of there. First off, we got Peter Woods, five-star defensive lineman, number three defensive lineman in the country, Number one defensive tackle in the country, just due to his height, he's going to be ejected more as a defensive tackle in the college level, but absolute stud. Then you also got five-star quarterback, Christopher Vizina. So right off the bat, Peter Woods, 6'3", 270, very comparable size to Aaron Donald. Because Aaron Donald runs about 6'1", 270, 280, kind of playing weight kind of varies about, about 10 pounds, you know how it goes in football. But, you know, I'd compare him even to a little bit of a Tyler Davis. Tyler Davis, similar height, but also Tyler's 300 plus pounds. So a little bit slimmer Tyler Davis, which may help to kind of stay more agile, more mobile. As Tyler, I love Tyler. He seems like a great guy. But, you know, he has struggled to stay on the field consistently year in, year out. He tends to get, you know, an ankle injury here. He uh, did a pec injury last year, I believe. He did a pec or bicep last year. And, you know, the injuries kind of just, they pile up a little bit on him. But Peter Woods, great get for Dabo and his staff. Five-star defensive tackle keeps that defensive line room full and prosperous because we may be losing Brian and Miles after this year. We don't know what's going to happen to them. I'm not quite sure. But if we do, I bet you that Peter Woods is going to take that number 11 jersey. Can we take a moment to appreciate how that number 11 jersey has gone for Clemson for the past, I don't know, since 2013, 2014? I mean, we went from Travis Blanks to Isaiah Simmons, to Brian Brzee, and now five-star Peter Woods is probably going to take over that number 11 jersey, assuming that Brian you know, goes to the draft, which, you know, if he comes back the same old Brian Brzee from that torn ACL, he's going first round, baby. There's no question about it. He's going, he's going for the NFL draft, and I cannot blame him for that. But this huge get for Dabo and his staff. I can't wait to see what Peter does. And how aggravating is that to be from Nick Saban that you got two five stars in the state of Alabama and Dabo Sweeney comes marching in there. It's like, oh, nope, we're going to take him. And it's the same deal with, uh, you know, Justin Ross and EJ Williams. I mean, we, they were both highly touted guys from Phoenix City, Alabama. And we went in there and kind of swooped them right up. Now, Peter was from Thompson, Alabama, a little, a little bit different from, uh, Alaba I believe it's Alabaster, Alabama, that's where Thompson's located in, if I'm not mistaken, but great get, great size, explosive athlete, plays a lot of edge in high school, but that's just, you know, he's just bigger, faster, stronger than everybody else, and you want your best athlete in space and the defensive line, but in college, like I said, just due to, you know, his height a little bit, he's going to be projected more as an interior guy, but, you I mean, he can get in there, I mean, I don't think he's going to be a day one starter, but... As he gets more time in that weight room, you know, come October, come November in his freshman year, he could really get in there and get some meaningful reps early in games. Now over to Christopher Vizina, he competed in the Elite 11. He recently was just elevated from four-star to five-star guy, and he's got all the tools you want. 6'4", 207 pounds. Obviously, you know, we put some more weight on that frame, but I'm not worried about that. I will admit, a little surprise we're getting him, just with Cade being there and DJ being there. There's going to be a little bit of a quarterback backup in there, depending how you know DJ and Cade play out this year. You know, Christopher may not be able to see the field, you know, in year one or year two. He may have to wait until his junior year to get on the field, depending, you know, how Cade is and everything. But we'll see how that goes. But he's the sixth best quarterback in the nation, which is a huge get for Davos. Once again, Davos year in, year out proves that he can recruit the quarterback position. And the quarterback's the most meaningful, most important position in all the sports. In no other sport in the world does one player touch the ball as much as the quarterback does in American football. It just doesn't happen. The quarterback in American football is the most important position in all the sports, and that's why I consistently at the NFL, the next level, and you know, even now in college now, level two, they are the highest paid and also the most recognized when it comes to awards, whether it be MVP, Heisman, Offensive Player of the Year. The quarterback has all the eyes of the country because one good quarterback can completely turn a team around. You can have you know, a team that's you know a little bit of rough shape, maybe not as uh, athletic or talented as everybody else, but you get that star quarterback in there to carry them, it makes all the difference. 
but I'm just pumped that people were hating on Dabo a little bit. People were thinking, you know, the last year's class, you know, wasn't exactly as great as we would have hoped, but people were thinking, hey, maybe Dabo's lost it. Maybe he doesn't have that edge in recruiting, but this proves that, bang, baby, we are right back in it. And guess what? It's still the summer. We still got the fall to flip some more recruits, people, and we got about the third best class in the country right now. Baby, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But I am excited for those two young men. I can't wait to see what they're going to do. Hopefully, you know, they decide to follow through with their commitments to Clemson and roll early in the spring. And I can't wait to see what they do and wish them best this year of their fall senior season. Enjoy it, young fellas. And this is all I got for today, guys. As always, have a great day. Tell somebody you love them. Deuces.